So you want to examine diabetic foot. The first thing is introduce yourself to the patient, right? Seek consent. Tell them you want to do. After that, you are staring at the wound. The first thing you want to do in any examination is inspection. Are you getting me? Now, under inspection, what are the things you want to um, do? First is the location. Now, if I'm to look at this ulcer, where is it located? It is located, okay, the, the location and the shape. Now, looking at this ulcer, it looks round, right? And um, it is located on the dosum of the foot. We've gotten the shape or the size. Are you getting me? Sorry, the shape. I mean the shape, the size. That is where is it located. Now, having said those ones, the next thing you want to do is what you are looking at is the floor, not the base. The way you can code it is this. What are you standing on? Do you like the floor so much that you want to touch the floor with your hand? No. Good. The best you can do to the floor is to what? Is to look at it. So what you are looking at is the floor. And in looking at the floor, what are you taking note of? Do we have sloughs on the floor of the ulcer? Do we have gangrenous tissues on the floor of the ulcer? Do we have granulation tissue? And the granulation tissue, is it, held, is it a healthy granulation tissue? Do we have active bleeding from the floor of the ulcer? Do you get me now? Looking at this ulcer, hmm? this, the floor of this ulcer contains gangrenous tissue. Are you getting me? In some kind of ulcers that they have dressed severally, when you open them, what you just see, you see some necrotic tissue. Like they call them sloughs. That's what you see. A patient who has been on the ward for weeks, hmm? the first thing you, sh you should not be expecting gangrenous tissue. Because that patient has had serial wound debris. That's it. except the ward nurses are not doing anything. So what you should be expecting is Either you are seeing sloughs or probably you are seeing granulation tissue because the wound is healing. Are you getting me? So now, in this wound, the floor, what could we see in the floor? Gangrenous tissue. Sorry, the floor contains gangrenous materials or gangrenous tissue. Now, having talked about the floor, the next thing you want to go to is you want to talk about the edge. This is the edge, this place. This is the edge. This is the edge of the ulcer. You want to tell us the, the edge. Is it sloppy? Is it punched out? Is it inverted? Is it undermined? Are you getting me? For a diabetic foot, the edge is always sloppy. <laughs> Don't go and say inverted or punched out. For diabetic foot ulcer. Now, the next thing you want to move to is the margin. Margin, that's the skin surrounding the ulcer. What are you checking out there? You are checking for the, is it hypopigmented? Is it hyperpigmented? Is it containing, is, is it showing normal skin? When you have done that, you are done with Inspection. Palpation. Yes, Post now we are about to do. You want to palpate the wound. What you want to do is check for differential warmth. In checking for differential warmth, hmm, let's check from a, a normal place. Oh, okay, sorry. put check for the temperature here. Are you getting me? Then we now go to check the temperature around very close. Are you getting me? The, don't forget that thing. You want to check for differential wound. Check from a normal place. Are you getting from a normal place? Then you now go and check the surrounding skin. Now check for differential wound. The next thing you want to do is to check for tenderness. 
please note that when you are checking for tenderness, you have to look at the patient's face. So I want to check for tenderness. I will check. I'm looking at the patient's face. Hmm? I'm, there are two ways to do it. To check for tenderness for ulcer. You can put your hand on the base of the ulcer or you can put your hand by the around the margin of the ulcer to check for tenderness. Sorry. Where is the floor again? The floor is what I'm seeing. Yes. Uh, you have to be gloved. Okay. Can we go ahead? What my hand is touching, what I'm feeling is the base. Now, to check for tenderness, you can either apply pressure here or anywhere around the ulcer. And you're looking at your patient's face. No tenderness. Now, the next thing you want to do is the base of the ulcer, you want to check is it indurated? Do you know what indurated means? You know the same way you, you are doing pedal edema, that it will deepen. So you want to do it here. So if you apply pressure on the base and it deepens, you say the base is uh, indurated. Sorry, isn't this like an open ulcer? You'll be gloved. Yeah, so like the patient should be again. Like, patient like being constantly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, that's why you have to do it carefully. And again, that's why you have to do it carefully. So, but don't apply too much pressure, just okay. slight. It's going to go inside. Are you getting me? Now, having done that, the next thing you want to check is the vascular supply around that area. So, just like you check for, do I know you might not have time? Just like you check for capillary refill, you might also want to check for apply refill in the toes but it's, you might not have time to really check for down after that the next thing you are going for is the vessels so what you want to do is you check for dosalis pedis yes are you getting me you feel you are on glow so you feel for it then after the next one what's the next one where do we check for posterior tibia? So we check here too. Please no. Now, there's something I should have mentioned initially. Please, if you're examining the foot, if they say examine the, the foot of this patient, don't fall into the trap of examining just one foot. Okay. Eh? So it means that you must examine the other foot to be sure is that foot normal? Is it a foot at risk? Or is there any because there might be some other foot at risk features in that foot. Okay, so now let's stick to this one. We are we've checked for those alice pedis, right? Yes. You you characterize the pulse. Is either it is barely palpable? Hmm? Is either it is palpable? Is either it is bounding, like you are feeling something hitting you, like that. Then you check the same for the posterior tibia artery. Now, one thing you should know is this if you cannot feel the position here, you go up. If you cannot feel the position here, you move to the popliteal. And in checking for the popliteal, what you do is please um, suspend your two legs. So what you do is, see, my hands, are you getting me? This, my two hands, I will bury them inside the popliteal fossa mm -hmm. mm? to feel, okay, I can feel my own. Uh -huh. You dip it inside, suspended like this to feel for the position of popliteal artery. In some patients, you might not feel it. As you've done for this, you also do for this. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yes. If you cannot feel it, you go to the femoral artery. Are you getting me? Now, having checked for vessels, you want to check for lymph nodes. Are you getting me? So for lymph nodes, check 
popliteia lymph nodes, check inguinal lymph nodes. Now, so now, um, you are examining, you have been told to examine the lower limb of this patient. Don't be carried away by examining just the one with the ulcer. Also, examine the one without an obvious ulcer. And the reason is, that foot could be a foot at risk. So it means you are looking for, okay, looking at this foot, it is grossly normal, right? So, but a patient having ulcer on this limb will likely have foot at risk features on this limb. So what are the foot at risk features? Number one that you are seeing is a shiny skin, hairless skin, wasting of the muscles, small muscles of the feet, prominent tendons. Are you getting me? You are seeing um, you are seeing um, callus formation. Are you getting me? You are seeing um, fissures. There is, you are seeing um, tinea pedis. Those are foot at risk features. Are you getting me? So those are the things you are, they're not those pairs, covers, pairs, planners. You are also seeing that. You are also checking for all those calluses, all those hard, hard stuffs. Those are the things you guys are looking out for. The moment you are seeing that you are reporting this foot as a foot at risk. Do you know that? Then also quickly just check for the vessels. Hmm? Check for that one. Check for vessels. Check for you don't need to check for lymph node here oh, because you are not having anything that will incite inflammation. Are you getting my point? But you know you have to check for sensation too. Uh -huh. So now um, an important part in palpation is measuring the size of the ulcer. So what you do is you measure the widest. Probably you can measure for now. Let's say you want to measure this one, the widest from here to here, widest diameter in that side. Then you can also measure this by like this. So you can now say that this wound is about 10 by 10 cm in its widest diameters. Do you understand? 